Hi there, I'm Lee and welcome to iMind Blocks. So today's video is being brought to you by myself and also in partnership with Kingston Technology. So they contacted me and said, we'd like you to take a look at um, a few of our bits of hardware. Would you be interested in doing so? I said, yes, that'd be great. So this video is brought to you as a sponsorship from Kingston Technology. What I would like to do in this video is upgrade one of my machines. So Kingston, they sent me over this SSD hard drive so it is the UV500 and it is a 480 gigabyte SSD. So I'm gonna be using this to upgrade one of my machines. I've got another machine in mind that's got an old mechanical hard drive. So I'm gonna be using this device, which is obviously gonna give me, we already know, you know, for a fact that we're gonna get much better performance. It's gonna make no noise, which is one of the things that really bug me about that particular machine with the mechanical hard drive. It's gonna use less power and less heat so that, you know, these are the primary benefits. So. Let's jump over and we'll get started with the uh, addition of this hard drive into that machine. Now you would have seen in one of my original build videos for this, which is about 18 months ago now, uh, we built this machine which we call Worker One. It doesn't really have a better name than that. So it's quite a good mid-range um, spec machine. It's got an Intel i5-6600. I think we're currently running at 4.3 gigahertz, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I've got my old um, GTX 970 in there. Just a kind of generic um, EVGA power supply, nothing particularly special about that to be honest. And up in the uh, back corner, just kind of bring it into focus, we have an old mechanical S uh, hard drive. And that's, I think it's a 240 gigabyte hard drive, but it makes quite a whining noise. I don't use it much, but it's good to have like an extra sort of um, backup. Um, but I don't really like the sound from it. This machine is generally pretty quiet. So, um, by upgrading to an SSD, we can basically reduce a lot of the noise uh, from this machine. If we have a look down here, we can see my boot drive. So that's the SSD I'm using for the boot drive, all the way tucked down there. Um, but this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be adding in our SSD to replace this old mechanical drive over the back there. So I've already removed the front side panel and the, uh, the rear side panel. And with this, we've got a quite cool uh, mounting system. So we've got this kind of easy clip system. And into the side, I'm not too sure if you can see it from this side, we've got this kind of, this rack mount system. So this is what we'll be putting our new uh, SSD onto. From the front, I can undo these kind of these easy clips. So they just twist to unlock and they kind of have these little pins on them, which then goes through to the kind of the, the caddy part. So one on that side and one on this side. Take those off. Now we can remove this uh, front panel. So it's kind of a little bit easy to get into. You see how tight it is. So if I was to remove the dryers from the back, there's not an awful lot of room there. But um, having this sort of system, we can remove it from the uh, front. So the kind of the front housing pops off. I just kind of move that to the side. I let it kind of float there loosely. I kind of really could do with an extra pair of hands. Um, so now you can see this kind of this caddy system. So we've got a mechanical hard drive at the top there and we've got an empty space. So I'm gonna be using this slide here to mount our new SSD. So this is our Kingston SSD that we're gonna be mounting. So it's from the UV 500 range. Sorry about that noise there. It's still just as light as any other um, SSD, but I do prefer the casing on this one. Um, I had a another SSD that has had more of like a plastic finish. So this is more of a metallic finish. Um, I, I can't really describe it. It's kind of like got like a brushed, it's kind of like a coarser kind of metallic uh, feeling, but it certainly um, looks smart. So I just have to screw the SSD into this uh, tray, but just to give you a look of what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go with this kind of uh, orientation. Um, of course, there's lots of different places I could have put it into the case, but just for simplicity, because I've already got the power and the uh, SATA cable there, I thought we'd just kind of rack it on this um, tray. Okay, the hard drive's back on the tray, so now we're ready to fit it into the machine. So we just sort of uh, slide it in. In here, somewhere like that. Again, it's a little bit trickier, like I said, just doing it. OK, 
Okay, so we put the machine back down on its side. I've put on the rear uh, side panel and also the front casings back on. Now we just need to add in the power. So I've already got the power connector kind of up here. And just in case of sliding that on to the connector. Again, I'm kind of doing it with my odd or off hand. And now the uh, data cable, which should be in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Perfect, so power and the serial ATA connectors on. Okay, so we took the workstation back under my desk. So now let's power up with the UV500. Okay, now I'll switch over to the screen share so you can see what the performance like. We'll do some benchmarking. Okay, so we've now booted into Windows. Uh, prior to starting Windows, I did um, enter the BIOS. I just confirmed that the machine sees the, um, the SSD, and it does. Uh, then I went and used the disk management software to partition and format the drive, and now we have it up and ready. So this is our drive, the UV500, which is drive F. Um, so now we're ready to use it. We're ready to benchmark, and I'll show you the performance of this drive. Okay, so there's lots of performance and different types of benchmarks that we can do, um, but this is kind of a, a quick and simple one that I can show you. So it's Crystal Disk Mark uh, version 6. So if you fire this up, we have different types of um, test, but this main one that we'll be using is the one at the top, this uh, sequential uh, option. Um, so we need to select the drive. So if I show you the drive E, which is the mechanical drive that we're really going to be uh, replacing, and I'll run the test on this. Oh, sorry. So we'll start this test and I'll show you the results in just a second and then we'll do the same test on the new Kingston UV500 and we'll see what the performance difference is. Okay, that's the test completed for our mechanical drive. So we've got a read speed of 78 megabytes and a write speed of 71.85. Uh, I'll show you the same test again, this time using the UV500, which is our new SSD. So it's drive um, F. So the same test options again. So let's let that run through and we'll see how it compares. So the test is just about to get started. One thing I'm noticing is there's no drive noise. So that's much better. There's no clicking and clunking, whirring away. Just nice and quiet. Okay, the benchmarking has finished. So on the left hand side, you can see these are the results of our mechanical drive with read and write speeds of 78 and 71. And on the right hand side, we have our new SSD, the UV500, with read speeds of 542 and write speeds of 525 megabytes per second. So you can see the performance difference is, uh, you know, comparing an SSD to a mechanical drive is significant. It's hugely you know more performant and also it makes less noise which is which is great so i'm just going to close these down now and i just want to kind of show you more of like a real world test so some of the things that you might be doing is um, transferring videos files etc to a secondary drive so you can see this is a video that i made um, just uh, a day or two ago uh, it's for the arcos uh, mini so it's uh, reported at 6.67 gigabytes and there's a mix of videos and um, images in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and we'll paste this to our first we'll paste it to our mechanical drive and we'll just kind of time how long that takes. So we're pasting it and you can see the write speed starts off really high at first but then it gradually drops down and this is where the uh, buffer or the cache on the drive is effectively filled up before it actually starts writing. So you can see it's writing now, it's an average of 55 megabytes per second, and it'll probably stay around that sort of speed until it's completed. So in this example, I, I like I say, I wanted to just give you kind of a real world um, example of how the drive performs. Okay, last little bit now, and it looks like we're coming in at over one minute 40. So let's see what the final time is. So we've got one minute and 43 seconds. So this time we'll do the same test. 
and we'll do it with our UV 500 and we'll show you how this performs. So I'm just going to restart the stopwatch and we're ready to paste it and let's go. So you can see we have that initial burst in the right speed but so far it's maintaining, it's actually increasing as we're writing. So we're writing at an average of 424, it's all over the place and almost finished. Okay, so that took 18 seconds. So with the mechanical drive, it's what, 142, 143, uh, sorry, one minute 42 on, one minute 43 versus 18 seconds. So you can see the difference in performance, it's dramatic. Okay, so let's wrap this video up. Um, I certainly hope you've enjoyed watching. So as you can see from my test and my uh, few benchmarks and the real world performance that I showed you there, uh, swapping your mechanical hard drive to an SSD will bring you tremendous uh, benefits. Pretty much all my other systems now as the boot drives I have as SSDs. I really like the performance, which is the main benefit, but also that reduction in sound, clicking and clunking that you know, really bugs me. So if you haven't already made the change over from a mechanical hard drive to an SSD, you really should. You, you will not believe the performance increase. You'll be uh, blown away by it. And especially as SSDs have come down significantly in price now. Years ago, it used to be really expensive. I think when I bought my, bought my first SSD, I think it was about 300 pounds for like a 120 gig drive. And now you can get that for like, you know, 40 pounds. The one that I've used in this video um, is currently priced around about 75 pounds uh, in the UK. And that was the UV 500. And it's the 480 gigabyte version that I've got. Um, also just to make you aware the Kingston Technologies they provide that SSD hard drive in multiple uh, different formats and configurations so I'm sure you're about to find something that's suitable for you. So one last note I would like to say thank you for Kingston for sponsoring me in this video and helping me you know uh, share this uh, with you guys so that's nice to have you know a big uh, company on board and supporting my little channel. And also thanks to you guys for uh, putting up with me taking the time to watch this video. If you did like it uh, please, you know, obviously give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. And if you'd like to get involved, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond back to you. Uh, you know, tell me how this video could have been uh, improved or what you'd like to see in the future. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.